incredibly private man, Michael Jackson rarely spoke in public about himself or his music. But when it came to his other great passion, he could be very vocal. We are all touched by the atrocities committed against children, sexual and physical abuse, child slave labor, forced homelessness, educational neglect. Michael was so moved by the plight of children around the world, he embarked on a personal mission to make a difference. In 1992, in partnership with his longtime sponsor, Pepsi, he launched the Heal the World Foundation. Michael, it's now my great pleasure to present you with a check for $1 million. This represents the money Pepsi-Cola pledges to raise in Europe this summer with our best wishes for Heal the World. As the press and fans crowded around the aircraft hangar from which he would take off on his dangerous world tour, Michael was firmly focused on the work ahead. Our children are the most beautiful, most sweet, most treasured of our creations. And yet every minute, at least 28 children die. I have founded the Heal the World Foundation to be the voice of the voiceless, the children. Please join with me and the children to help heal the world together. Michael had already proved that when it came to humanitarianism, as in his performing career, he was prepared to lead from the front. Back in 1984, he financed a 19-bed unit at Mount Sinai New York Medical Center and donated one and a half million dollars to the Brotman Memorial Hospital. Two years later, he founded the Michael Jackson United Negro College Fund with another one and a half million dollar donation to help students majoring in performance art and communications. Together with Lionel Richie and Quincy Jones, he had also written and produced the chart-topping charity single, We Are the World, which has gone on to raise more than $63 million for humanitarian aid in Africa and America. Now he was preparing to scale even greater heights of giving by donating all the profits of his sellout Dangerous World Tour to his new foundation. One of Heal the World's first missions was to airlift 46 tons of much needed supplies to war-torn Sarajevo in Bosnia. More funds went towards setting up drug and alcohol education programs. Six years later, he was doing it for the kids again on a tour of South Africa to raise money for then President Nelson Mandela's children's charity. And uh, he has made a great contribution to art, to music. And, uh, uh, and I'm very happy that uh, he is in our country. In the presence of another great humanitarian, Michael remained as humble and gracious as ever. And this is a wonderful, lovely man. I love Nelson Mandela very much. And thank you for all your hospitality and all your love. Thank you very much. His devotion to improving conditions for children in Africa earned him an invitation to join the continent's leaders and speak at a forum on debt relief. There must be a global resolve that the 21st century will bring about caring and protection of our children and above all, universal love. He demonstrated his own dedication to universal love with his staunch support of the fight against HIV AIDS. Long before it was fashionable, he and his great friend Elizabeth Taylor blazed a trail in raising awareness of the disease. Then in February 2001, in response to the tragic Columbine High School massacre in the U.S., he extended the reach of his Heal the World Foundation with a special Heal the Kids campaign. Heal the Kids is about doing something about making a difference in trying to help adults and parents realize that it is our power to change the world that our children live in. Over the course of his lifetime, Michael Jackson supported 39 different charities and donated more than $300 million to good causes. Proving that the king of pop was also the king of philanthropy, he will forever be remembered as the most generous entertainer of his generation. <laughs>